Yeah, then we got this goofy nigger Michael Edwards guy, you know, talking about the white man steals everything, and he's basically stealing his whole interpretation from uh, George Lamza, the Arab Jew, rat-faced Jew, who wrote the book uh, Idioms in the Bible, right? I mean, this clown is putting his books all over his channel, reading from it. You know, it's this black Hebrew, supposedly, right? But is it appropriate for a black Hebrew to go ahead and uh, just steal stuff from these Arab Jews and pawn it off as his own? I mean, where's the scholarship in that? You know, seems like thievery to me. And it's not even good scholarship. It's garbage. It's garbage. We know the first two counts of Genesis are the same account just retold it's the creation story retold but he wants you to believe in george lamza and then pawn it off as his own so who's the real hypocrite who's the real thief dirty nigger you are you block the comments you don't want people to learn the truth on your own channel you know why are you doing that? Why are you deleting the comments and blocking people and disabling comments? Where are you running to, buddy? I thought you were Mr. Controversial. Oh, okay. What did it? What do they call that? Checkmate? Yeah, because I'm playing four-dimensional underwater chess. <laughs> I'm not playing what you're playing. So, you know, let's continue. Why, why don't you respond to this video, Mr. Michael Edwards? Come on. Also, I wanted to show you this, which is George Lamsa's um, Prashita that he actually translated from the Syriac into the English. It's the Old Testament and New Testament version. Um, when you do your research and study on George Lamsa and who he is, you will without a doubt see that there is a split in the perception about him as a scholar. See, what this monkey isn't telling you is that we don't know ancient Aramaic, right? And those Targums are coming right out of the Jewish Talmud because those are the earliest references. So, yeah, you can study them, but you see where they're coming from, right from the devil, right from the devil. And this George Lamza guy coming up with his own interpretation, he's not coming up with, you know, a real solid um translation of the idioms what he's doing is indoctrinating you stupid niggers into his view of what the bible means through his lens as in oh this is what the idiom means right so we're gonna i'm gonna give it to you from my point of view now this guy was an occultist but let me remind you mr lamsa is a syrian he was born in Syria. He spoke the language closest to what the man Jesus Christ spoke. Okay. Let me show you something real interesting real quick. Did you know in Aramaic, Jesus, the equivalent is Eshu? <laughs> get to the man of the hour George Lamsa's idioms explained and I know a lot of y'all gonna say oh he was a Arab listen if he was an Arab and he lived in Syria ain't that closer to what you doing in America over here butchering the Bible in English But again, idioms, if you look on the first page of this book, it will say the same thing that I just said to you concerning Genesis 1. Let there be light. And it says, let there be enlightenment. Let there be understanding. Mm -hmm. See it right there on the first line. Look, let there be light. Let there be enlightenment. Let there be understanding. And... If you think that Mr. Michael Edwards is a black Hebrew, 
you really, you really need to get your fucking head examined. You need to check up from the neck up because you're just gullible, you know? <laughs> he's running around, you know, like he's gonna do this and do that. But the reality is he's a coward and a liar and a thief just like they all are in this conscious community. Uh-huh.